Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Everybody's Show. Everybody's homies with the Raw Life Raw Health Life. Show. And the Q&A is back. I am going to be back home in Florida in a couple of days. The weather is finally warm outside. And I'm excited because I got a whole bunch of question and answers that I've been storing up. I told you I'll get you your question and answers, and I will be doing them again every Friday. So get those question and answers in, everybody. I want to thank everybody for a wonderful book tour. I have one more talk coming up tonight, which is going to be in Mobile, Alabama. That's the grand finale, and then I'm going to go back home to West Palm Beach, Florida. But I was able to get some of these questions done right now, so here we go with your questions and answers for Paul Neeson. The first question comes from YouTube. It's a reply to a video I did. It's called When to Stop Eating in the Winter Time. And the person naturally alive is their username ask uh, regarding eating twice a day. Isn't it more important to eat when you have true hunger as opposed to forcing yourself to eat at certain times? Well, uh, the answer is no. Uh, if you have true hunger, you need to eat, of course. But who has true hunger? You know, hunger is starvation. You know, there's a false hunger or a sense of hunger, which is, I'm in the mood for food. I call that a habit hunger. A true hunger is starvation. I need to eat. I don't care what time it is. I don't care how many times I've eaten or not eating. I am in hunger. I am starving to death. I need to eat. And I can guarantee if you're eating every day, especially more than twice a day, you're not even close to feeling true hunger. What most of us feel is habit hunger because we're used to eating so often and so much. For example, no matter how much you've eaten during the daytime, if it comes 9 o'clock at night and you're used to eating at 9 o'clock at night, you're going to feel hungry. That's not true hunger. That's a habit hunger. Well, what I tell people is to make sure that you're really planning your meals out and your meal times out so you know you're not eating not only the wrong foods, but you're not eating too much too often or too late. But eating two times a day, I believe, would be the ideal in most situations, but three times a day would be acceptable. But if you're eating more than three times a day, chances are you're eating too much and you're eating at nighttime. Now, that's not 100% across the board. There might be some situations where we might need to eat more than three times a day or we might feel the need to eat more than three times a day. But from my experience, there are very few situations out there in the world, if any, maybe if somebody's pregnant, or somebody's breastfeeding uh, might be one of those exceptions. But there are very few exceptions in the world where somebody needs to eat more than three times a day. And yes, that includes snacking. You know, your body doesn't know the difference between a snack or a meal. So anytime you eat, your body doesn't know the difference between a snack or a full meal. All it knows is food's coming in and it has to work. So anytime you eat, whether it's a snack or a meal or whatever you call it, it's considered eating. So I recommend two times ideal Three, acceptable, but that's it. Now, if you're in the mood for food between your meals, maybe you didn't eat enough or a good quality food during a meal. However, if that's the case and you're in the mood for food, uh, that's where doing some fresh juices is wonderful. From fresh green vegetable juices that are strained and even some herbal teas and things like that to help with your appetite. But... I do recommend you plan your meals out accordingly and space them accordingly so you're giving your body a chance to do what it was designed to do and that's digest the meal. I'll answer questions like this and many other topics and questions in my videos. Just post those questions below the videos everyone and we'll make sure we get to all of them. And if you have posted a question in the past and we haven't gotten it to yet, the last two months or so I've been on the road so I haven't been able to get to them, I will. I have them written down and I will get to them. But if you have more, as many as you have, the place to post them is below the videos and you can check them out and the videos out while you're posting your questions. It'll be great. All right, everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. Thank you for your questions. It's good to be back in the warm weather. And uh, until then, everybody, have a great day and a great Raw Life. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighton.